All right, we're gonna take a look at how we're going to run a sequence straight from X lights. So the first thing you would have to do is take an ethernet cord and plug it into your computer and then attach that to your Pixlite controller. And that will directly connect your computer to your Pixlite controller, um, allowing your com computer to send signal to it and control it. Um, the first thing that we need to do is uh, put together a, a sequence. Um, we have a 16-strand uh, uh, pixel tree set up over here. This is in our, our layout. So this will be building a uh, sequence around this tree. And then we will do a file. We're going to create a new sequence. We're going to just do an animation sequence at 20 frames per second. There's other things in here. Let's make it 120 seconds, so two minutes, and every two minutes it'll repeat. And we'll hit done. You can see here we have the tree. Now we can hit the play button, and then I hit T to put in timing marks. And what the timing marks do is just, that's what dictates when the next effect will change. So let's put in about five different timing marks here. Stop this and, and we can just kind of click and drag them out, separate them out a little bit. I think it's a little bit evenly spaced. And now up here we have a list of all our effects. So we're gonna click bars and let's put different colors here. And I'm just going to drag this onto this part of my tree. And you can see in the preview it shows up with the different colors that I have. And then there's different things on this color setting that you can uh, change if you want to add sparkles to it or anything like that. So let's click on our next uh, piece and we're just going to drag some different effects in here. Gives you the preview of, of what it's supposed to look like. We'll pick um, something like this. You can also drag it from over here too. And that's going to give uh, Spiral effect. Uh, I like this one a lot. That's a little bit different, and we can make things change a little bit. And then let's pick. Um, let's pick the wave. The wave's cool. And we'll do the rainbow color. And thicker waves. So that's just a quick little sequence. So we're going to go file, save sequence. I'm going to go test number two. It's putting it right in my show directory. And so we're saving this. Takes just a second to save and render here. See it's down here saving. And it's done. And so what you could do now is we could hit play and it'll play through this sequence. And you could hit this bulb up here, and this should output it straight to your controller. So what you see on the screen should be exactly what you see uh, on, on your tree that you've built, if you built the same tree. So you do have to click this button here to do that. You can come into the scheduler. You have to uh, create a playlist first. So let's call this a test playlist. Hit OK. 
and then you can click here for the XLights files. You can see we have test two is a sequence that we just created. We can pull that over here. And now we have a playlist called test. If you wanted multiple sequences, you can add them in there. You can put delays in between them, etc. And then we can come to the schedule. Show dates. We want to run from November 20th, which is today, and we can run this through here and hit OK. And you can see it populated all the dates. Um, I hit the playlist. So our playlist is test that we created, and we're going to start at 18, so it's about 6 o'clock, um, out to the 2100 hours. And then you can hit repeat, so it'll just keep repeating that playlist over and over again. And then we hit OK. Oops, sorry. And we can uh, actually select all of these. So for all our dates, it's going to go from 18 to 21 test on our repeat. And then you could save our schedule. And so it knows as long as your computer's on, it's going to know that it's going to push this schedule out. And uh, so actually, we need to do the light output. That was the warning it gave me. So if you run schedule, and it's going to run exactly what we set up over here. So that's how you can, uh, it's a kind of a quick crash course, but that's how you can run XLite straight out to your computer and kind of schedule it so you don't have to manually turn it on every day. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, add some comments down below. Thanks.